In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this part of your candle using solids and surfaces. So first, I'm going to control tab back to our sketch. The first thing we want to do is make a surface, which is revolve. So I'm going to select revolve surface. And I'm going to revolve this sketch around this axis. And I'll say OK. So next, I'm going to expand this. And I'm just going to hide that sketch. And in the top plane, we're going to create another sketch. It's going to be a simple circle from the origin out. I'll activate Smart Dimension and we'll make it 10 inches. I'll say OK. And with that sketch still selected, we're going to now make it a helix. With the pitch of 21 for one revolution and starting at 0 degrees clockwise, I'll say OK. And that helix is going to be the path for our swept surface. So now we need to sketch the profile. So again, in the top plane, I'm going to create a sketch. I'll use mouse gestures to activate line, and I'll start here at the origin. I'll make that vertical line. I'll click to escape. I'll just zoom in on it. I'll select this endpoint, hold control, select this helix near the end, and use the Pierce relationship. And I'll exit that sketch. So now we're going to make another surface. This time it's swept. And we're going to sweep this profile along this path. And I'll say OK. Once again, I'm going to hide the helix. Now I want to make an axis where the front and right plane intersect. So I've pre-selected them while holding Control. I'm going to come to Reference Geometry, Axis. And I'm going to create that axis, and we'll use that in a little bit. Next, I want to create a curve where these two surfaces intersect. So I'm going to come up to the drop down menus and I'm going to select tools. I'm going to scroll down the sketch tools and then I'm going to go to intersection curve. And I'm just going to expand the feature tree here and expand the surface body. So I'm going to say where this body and this body intersect, create that curve. So I have a 3D sketch. I'm going to say OK and I'll exit the sketch. So there's our 3D sketch of where the two intersect. I'm done with these surfaces, so I'm going to select them both while holding control, and then I'm going to hide them. Now this 3D sketch I want to use to create a swept part. So I go to Features, and I tell I'm going to create a swept boss. I'm going to use the circular profile. Its diameter is going to be 0.26, and the path is this sketch looks good. I'll right click and accept that. And there's what we've created thus far. And in the next step, I want to use this axis and this sweep to create a circular pattern. So I'm going to pre-select them. Come up here to the drop down arrow, select circular pattern. And because I pre-selected the axis, it sees that as the rotational or pattern axis. I'm going to have equally spacing 360 degrees in 12 instances on my sweep profile. And I'll say OK. And now we've created this. If you don't like seeing these distinct edges where the sketch changes, you can just choose Shade It Without Edges and it looks a little nicer for this type of part. So I'm going to save that and in the next video we'll look at adding the base and the top to this candle holder.